Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an under the Jurassic Sea box theme. So this is basically a box that I have decorated or covered in the sort of patchwork sea blues and purple colours for under the sea with brown bottom for the sea floor. Now in a bit I'll show you how to make this look even more exciting but this is just the basics for us to get the mechanics right because it's going to be a moving under the Jurassic Sea box. These are all creatures that used to live around here um, in Huntingdonshire during the Jurassic period. At the time, this was all at the bottom of a warm Jurassic Sea, so these are the creatures that we had living here. Um, and these are the fossils that we therefore find in the area. So we have got an ichthyosaur. So these are a bit like a dolphin, they look kind of similar. They're a bit more fearsome with these really massive sharp teeth. They could also be a lot bigger, some of them could be as long as a bus. So you wouldn't want to meet that one while you're having a nice swim in the sea. Uh, this is also a plesiosaur, and again, big sharp teeth, not particularly friendly to other creatures, always on the lookout for some food. And here we have the ammonites. So of course, ammonites have this lovely swirly shell, and it's one of the really common fossils that we can find around in this area. But of course, when ammonites were alive, they had these lovely kind of tentacled heads, look almost a bit like a squid, doesn't it? And that sort of pops out of the shell. You might have noticed that I've already stuck a lollipop stick onto the back of my plesiosaur. So these have been coloured in and cut out and stuck onto card to make them quite firm and we want to be you know, able to move them around without bending and ripping them. I have also got images of these uncoloured in that you can print and colour in yourself if you would like to. So I've made a hole in the side of the box so that one can go in there and you can see we'll be able to then move there we go, plesiosaur in the Jurassic underwater scene. We're going to have another lolly stick coming from the top so the plesiosaur can try and catch the ammonites. So ammonites are really clever creatures, so they have empty sort of sections in their shells and they use these to escape from prey. If they filled up their sections with, with water, it made them heavier and they could sink all the way to the bottom really quickly. So in comes the plesiosaur, yum, 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 oh, the ammonites escaped. You can then get rid of the water, replace it with air, squirt it out, and then it'll float back up again to the surface. So that's why the plesiosaur is going to move sideways, and the ammonite is going to move up and down. How I made the hole was really simple. So I laid them out where I wanted them to be to begin with. So I put my plesiosaur in position, and my ammonite is going to be about here. So that when he comes in, it can go up and down. So I've measured from the ammonite, hopefully you guys can see this, um, I measured one and a half inches from the edge of the box and I have drawn on a mark. Then sharp pencil, a bit of blue tack underneath. So you might want to ask an adult to help you with this part because it's quite sharp. And you're going to push that through so it goes into the blue tack and then push it through so that the pencil goes all the way into it like that. That's kind of a bit um, peeled away but we can easily stick that back down again afterwards. Just to make sure, this is my ammonite straw, two straws. I've stuck them together because the ammonite is a bit long, um, needs to go a longer distance than the plesiosaur. It's going to come all the way down here. And yeah, so that's how I did that. So that can now be stuck on and moved around. So another way you could decorate your box could be to add a bit of paint to it, or you could paint it from scratch if you haven't got access to colour paper and things. So I'm just going to put some blue wibbly lines over the background, just to sort of break up the patchwork a little bit, give it a bit of movement. It is the, the under the Jurassic Sea after all it's going to be full of life. So I've added some lovely green in here, you know, to add some green, greeny blue to make it look a bit more like the sea and a little bit less like coloured sugar paper. Another thing I'm going to add in, because I like a little bit of twinkle and a little bit of sparkle, are some sequins. Oh, there we go, all at once. So if I do a few lines like that, 
Of course, the good thing about PVA is that it does dry see through. So if you go a bit wrong with this, it doesn't matter in the slightest. Then I'm going to stick to blues and greens to keep it looking like an underwater scene. A bit of finger painting there as well. Um, also, we can mix in a few colours, a different colours, like a bit of a gold there. I think that looks nice. The light shining off the water, I think it makes all lots of lovely colours as well. So, there we go. Stuck on the top there. And I quite like actually that his fins and his flippers are sticking up a bit because it makes him look a little bit more 3D and like he might actually be moving in the sea with everything else that's going on. I also want to make the bottom of the sea look a bit more exciting as well. So I'm going to get more PVA glue. And I'm going to squirt it when I can get out the bottle along the bottom like that. And along this, I'm going to stick some cotton wool. Because at the bottom of Jurassic Sea, there wouldn't have been a lot of plant life, but there would have been rocks and things like that. So these bits of cotton wool, they're going to become rocks before I'm finished today. So a bit more glue. Stick that one in the corner. Ooh, the box is falling down. That one can go in the bottom there. So to make these look more like rocks, I'm going to paint them brown. I'm just going to do this sort of like a bit loosely, kind of give it a, almost a, a mottle effect because, you know, rocks aren't all one solid flat colour. So we're going to stick to that idea. Just like so. my floor. Now my glue is still there and starting to run a bit so I thought to make the most of the glue that I've squirted out of the glue stick glue bottle I'm going to also stick on bits of tissue paper. So these are just tissue paper squares but if you've got big sheets of tissue paper it's probably even better actually because you could rip them up into the size that you want. You could even cover the whole thing in tissue paper if you wanted to like different colours of it sort of all squishing around together. Just sticking these in any bit really where I just feel like actually that glue could be used for something better than just running. So using tissue paper on this top or on the back has also given me the idea of using some on the bottom as well to make the bottom look a bit more exciting. So again I'm just going to try and do some wiggly lines. Ooh. A bit too much there again. Wiggly lines with the glue. I'm just going to stick this right over there, trying to spread that glue around. I don't know if it's wasted. A bit more over there. And the final bit. There, like that. Here we have my completed under the Jurassic Sea box scene with moving parts. So the ammonite, happily minding his own business, where along comes fearsome plesiosaur, ready to have, his, have him for his lunch. The ammonite fills up his shell of water, sinks to the bottom really quickly, ah! Plesiosaur will have to go without today.